Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another day here on Scorched Earth Ascended. Today, we're doing some decorating. A little bit of painting, small amount of taming, and I want to go out and get some stuff together for making preserving salts. That'll help our food stay a little bit longer in the preserving bin. Not sure if we'll get a refrigerator. I'm sure at some point in time we will, but we are kind of far off from that. Got some breakfast making on the grill over there. So the cool part is, did some exploring in between this video and last video. Not too much, don't worry. I have not looked at the map without you, but I found sulfur out here, which is never a thing before, I don't think. It is right next to some of the salt. So head out there, grab that, and that'll make up our preserving salts. And then you guys left me comments too about the, the base here, man. So one of the things with the Bob's pack, let's just open some doors. I had to close them because of the sandstorms. Kind of cool, man. If you got these open and the sandstorm kind of comes by, up to about right here, you'll get the debuff and you can only like walk, you can't sprint. Close the doors. Kind of, uh, takes care of that, man. Kind of neat, dude. Kind of neat. It's a little things. Had to leave these guys in here, man. They are so noisy. Holy crap with all the storms. Open some doors, man. Get some fresh air. I do want to put some of the shutters on the outsides of these. You guys left me comments about that. As well as one of the skins. So, oh, before we start that, found a treasure map, dude. Did a couple of the supply drop runs. And this says that you can use it to get the ping for a location of buried treasure. Have it in your inventory whenever you dig and use it to reveal the coordinates. Haven't used it yet, but that is fantastic. Didn't know that was a thing, man. Guess then it kind of gets coupled with the shovel. So we'll save that for sure. Just wanted to keep it in my inventory so I didn't forget to tell you about it. Maybe we'll grab a couple of those and do just like a big treasure hunting video. Kind of curious. Don't tell me what's in it. Want it to be a surprise, but uh, kind of excited about that, man. Got some of our crop plots made up as well. So let's grab a little bit of wood for some testing real quick. You guys said to take and make some of these. So that's used for structures, right? Not exactly sure what structures, but it's supposed to change the appearance. Now, I don't know if we need to use that on each one of the items to change the looks of it. Let's make two of them. Do a small amount of testing before we head out and see what that's all about. That's the only skin that I saw other than the closed ones. We got some different structures in here. Instead of pulling our base apart, we'll take some of that, some of this. Some of that. I'm not sure what it works on and what it doesn't. It doesn't say that it's allowed in here. Can we put it? Can't. How does that work? Use this skin. The appearance of many structures in a frontier style. Is that structures like... I mean, it's a wall there, right? Should we be able to do it on a wall? You would think? What if it has to be in here? It doesn't go to any of that. Let's look at something real quick. That's a skin. That's scaffolding. What if it goes on the scaffolding? Surely not, right? Of many structures. So is that things that are other than walls in? Possibly, maybe? It's not any building parts because they're not showing up down here to drag it to. So we'll leave these. That includes the crop plots, but we need those anyways. And I need one of these for our building for today. And I'll show you why here in a second. We're not going to spend too long messing with the skins. I'll just kind of wait until you guys tell me how to do it. I wonder if it goes with... I don't want to pick up one of these. Hmm. Let me know in the comments below what to put it on. You guys left me a ton of comments to use those. I just don't know what you put it on. You would think the walls and stuff, right? Doesn't seem so. Anyways, let's get this kind of sorted out of here. Real quick. Now what I'm thinking is... To get to the top ones, we'll change this to stairs. And leave it there permanently. Kind of looks cool. It's not too bad. That way I can just kind of walk up here, grab our crops and stuff. And a little bit of testing I did off camera. We can't do five across. It's going to be kind of like four, right? They're a little bit bigger than I thought. So if we do it like this, we do it like that. Turn off clipping. Put that one all the way inside there, and there. They don't hang over too far, so it's not too bad. That kind of works out like that. So, if you didn't know, there's only four of the types of vegetables, so we can have two, uh, two of each kind. Now, don't forget, we get the shovel. You can use it on that and get the extra 100%, so it'll be 400%, so it should be enough for our daily needs here, you know? Put you there, and there. Do it like that. And that kind of works out. Now, we do got to sort out some water here as well. We'll get the water sorted. We'll get the shovel made and 
get those up to 400%. Then we'll head out and probably grab our salts. Or should we do the salts now before it gets hot? What time is it? Just after 9 a.m. Let's go out and get our salt stuff first. Then we can come back to base here. Get our water sorted out. And we'll start doing a little bit of decorating. Did some supply drop runs, man. And got a little bit of stuff. Found some flak. Probably won't use it on this map because it's super hot. Got a flashlight for our shotgun. Found a little bit of uh, ghillie. We got a new saddle for the Saber, man. 174. It's a built one, not a blueprint. So not too bad, man. We finally got some soap, too. Look, dude. Bath time is always a welcome thing. It's, it's... Ooh. I tried doing this for you. <laughs> we got stuck in a cabinet. It's, it's a sand, dude. The sand. You gotta be able to wash it off, man. Water alone does not work. Always use a little bit of soap. And also, not ever do the orbital camera when you're super close to that. So, probably go out on the Saber. Let's leave the Dodic and the Anki. Let's throw this guy out before the storm comes. Not sure if it's in an electrical one. We won't be able to use our cryos. And how is this? It's done. The salts will be very, very nice, though. So we're not going to be grabbing too much of it. Now you can use the Dodic, Anki, stuff like that on it. But seems how we're super close to the salt and the sulfur, we'll just grab a little bit of it and bring it back to base for now and then kind of harvest it as we need it. Now the cool thing is the pots, the clay pots that you put them in, the vessels, they look pretty cool for doing decorating. So we'll make up a couple of those, store our stuff, and I've kind of been on the lookout for a moth, man. So that's the main flyer we'll be using on this map for our egg runs in the Dragon Trench, stuff like that. It's, it's interesting, man. I like them. They're pretty cool, kind of squishy. But the thing is, I did some exploring over that way when I was grabbing a bunch of metal and stuff off camera, and I couldn't find any over level, I think like 20, 25. So I know sometimes whenever you start a map, it's a lot of low-level creatures. Highest level I've seen is like a level 85 Thyla over there. So might do a dino wipe here soon. Try to get some new stuff on the map before we start taming. And you guys left me comments too about all the bugs. I should have, uh, I should have got a frog, man, before we came to this map. That would have been fantastic for getting our cement paste. Didn't think about it, but it's what it is, man. If you have one, definitely bring it over because I don't think there's any on this map. So we'll kill off a couple of these vultures. Dude, I totally forgot to bring some stuff to tame a dung beetle. I want to grab one of those today. Now we could try to get some treats from the saber. But the other thing you can use is spoiled meat, so 21 should be fine. We're trying to find a low level one. They're usually up here around... Oh, there's one right there, actually. Not that, not that. Put it away, dude. Put it away. Level 10. That is perfect. Can you drop us a treat? You can. It's even better. Did you go? Did the storm wash it away? It's in the ground. There we go. That'll work. Right, let's get up here. Check the area. The right. Are we good? I think we're fine. Drop you right there. Junior! Got a snack for you, buddy. <laughs> there we go, man. Perfect, dude. Perfect. Alright, so. Dung beetle acquired. Throw you into here. One should be enough. Now, I'm not sure if we'll be able to actually have enough of the... The fertilizer. Is that a sandworm? Hurt something. Not sure if I have enough of the fertilizer at the end of this video to plant the crops. If not, I'll do it off camera whenever I get enough. We could grab two of the dung beetles, but one is really plenty of base. I have to find a place for them there, too. Now, I did find one of the mantis, man. One. One single one right over here. So they are on the map. They're just not around as much as they used to be, which is kind of cool, man. They used to be, like, literally everywhere, man. Such an easy way to farm polymer and chitin. But you get the same amount of chitin from the centipedes as you do from the mantis, so it's not really that big of a deal. Is this a sulfur? It is. Never really seen it out here before. Not sure if that's always been a thing. Make sure we're okay. At least it's not super hot out here. Now we'll keep the sulfur and drop the stone. Maybe we'll grab like two or three hundred of the sulfur. And then same thing on the salts. I know the salts weigh a lot. The sulfur is like super lightweight. Now the other place... What's that guy? Other place you can get this from is the Dragon Trench. I would definitely <laughs> recommend coming out here, man. It's a little bit safer than playing with the dragons. Dragons are more fun. Dragons are more deadly. That's the way that it goes. Let's put this back down here. A little bit of breakfast, a little bit of water as well. Yep, I see you coming over here, dude. Please stay over there. I don't want to fight you right now. I just want to get a little bit of sulfur, and I will be on my way. Now, all this will be made up in the chemistry bench, so it'll be super simple to get done. A little bit more here, man. Drop that stone as well. 
Should have enough of the adobe backup base to make, uh, I don't know, maybe two or three of the vessels. Whatever we need to store it. It doesn't last very long as a thing. 280. Let's grab a little bit more, man. A little bit more just so that I have to come back out here right away. Now we'll come back out off camera and kind of clean all this out. Just so that it can respawn. It's super nice having it this close to base. It's the only spot of it that I've found, too, in this area. That's enough, man. That's enough. Let's drop the stone. And then where is the... Salt should be on the other side of this sand dune here. Alright, grab a little bit of this. What level are you guys? 35? 35. We'll leave him for now. The level 10 will be fine. Probably put him upstairs with... the Jerboas. Just have him outside. I don't know, could put him on the outside deck. Might not be safe, but it's an option. How much does he salt weigh? Probably about double or triple that the sulfur does, so not too bad. The supply drops, man. It's kind of nice seeing some different things around here. I totally forgot with ASA, the uh, supply drops have everything in it. Very nice to get some of the silicone pearls that way. Now, if I can remember, I'll head over and show you where I can grab some normally. Might just do a whole video of where to find some of the resources. But I kind of need to go around the map first and take a look myself. Because I don't know if everything's in the same spot as they used to be in... Uh, ASA, you know, versus ASA. Is that enough? Tiny bit more. We'll be good. Kind of farms up a lot faster than the sulfur does. Alright, that's good there. That's good, man. That's good. It's good. It's fine. We can be out here forever. Drop that. Alright, back to base we go. We'll make the preserving salts and start on the water. I want to build that new, like, water storage area that came with the Bob's pack and put that out instead of the normal one, man. We'll put down the intake. I think you have to have a normal intake. Put it just right below us in the, in the water by the obelisk. Killed off a couple more of the... What was that? Pego? Might have been. Killed off some more of the centipedes, though. Got some more of our chitin. Very nice thing to have. We should have enough of the metal and cement paste made up. So we can actually do all of our building today. Most of the stuff we need requires both of those items. Give me this. Give me that. You can keep the meat. Alright. I think we're good. Alright, open the door. Open that way. Let's change that to where it always opens out. There we go, man. There we go. Leave the doors open for right now, too. Change you as well. We'll drop off this in here. And let's start making some of the... Well, let's wait on the salts. Let's make our vessels first. That's going to be thatch and wood. We'll make three of those. Because the, the salts themselves do not last very long at all, and they start spoiling super fast. You put them in these vessels, though, it lasts like... A whole year, man. It's it's kind of cool. One more. All right, and let's get all that going. So it makes six on each one. And if for right now we'll just set some of these, we'll do. Let's set them out here, just for the moments, because I don't know exactly where we want to put them. Not there. Not there. Don't demolish. The texture looks so much better on these two, man. In ASA. Alright, so. Normally these stack in stacks of 20. Don't forget, I have my stuff changed a little bit. So, in here. Oh, they last like two years. In your inventory, 20 minutes. Not very long at all. But, as far as our preserving bin and stuff. So, your food. We'll take this. It's going to be 21 minutes. 41. Doubles it. So it's definitely worth it to have that in there, and then having our stacks higher definitely helps out as well. And that's all on that. Oh, wait. Is there a different ratio? I thought it was one to one with the salt and the sulfur. Interesting. We'll put one in each of these just to have the look that they're full. You get four slots, so not very many. That's what kind of made three. What is the ratio on this? Okay, double. So, four of the sulfur and eight of the raw salt. Nice, man. Nice. Okay, we'll get that kind of done here soon, too. Let's not make up the rest of that. We've got, what, about a thousand? We do. So, what do we have in here? First thing I kind of want to get making is the windmill, right? So, I think they kind of slow down the damage on this. So, we're on day three, I think. We are. No damage to this at all from the heat, which I don't know if putting it inside helps now. If so, that's something that they change. 
But we're still gonna make the windmill to protect that some. Give me the pearls. We're gonna need a tiny bit of metal. Tiny bit, man. Tiny bit. Very small amounts. Because we need five of the electronics. I think this is the only thing that needs electronics for today, is the windmill. And then while that's kind of going, let's make one of the intakes. What are we missing? Some wood. Let's just put a bunch of it in here so we have it. That's right, so a one intake. And then I'm not sure what the barrel's called. What do we need for this? Some hide? Want to have one of those out for looks as well. Now, this won't be a 100% decorating video. I'll probably change a lot of it around off camera too, but we'll get a lot of the stuff set out. Hello? There we go. Turn you off. Electric storm. I don't think that'll work with the... Oh, it's a sandstorm. Never mind. All right, so we have this. What is the water barrel called? That's a storage one. Sap! We'll have to go out and get some of that. Here's a water barrel. One of you. One should be enough, and then here is the windmill that we need. That's a proper one, right? Reduces the fuel consumption. Yes, please, and thank you. And then the train stuff, we'll do a whole video on the train stuff. I'm not gonna do that right now, it, it's super expensive. The cement paste, wood, and metal ingots. Mainly the metal ingots. And then that's for the actual engine. And then you got some of the carts. So we'll see, man. There's a lot of stuff, it kind of works out. If, if the train tracks and stuff work good, then we can always set it up going from here like over to the Red Obelisk or something like that, because there's a lot of stuff I farm over there in that one cave I talked about, if it's still there. Let's make one of the treasure chest. We need the shovel. Yeah, I think that's it for the moment. Super excited about the treasure maps, man, dude. I, I really hope that they're gonna be good. We want to try to go down there now or wait for the... Let's wait for that. Let's just do... This, right here. Now how do we use it on here? Plus 30. Oh, 30%. I thought it was 100%. Interesting. Okay, well, is what it is. Bonus is a bonus, man. Just one. Just one. Calm down, Junior. Oh, he does two on the, the shovel thing. That's what it is. The whole animation. I mean, that works. 30% bonus will be fine. Again, we're not making too much of the stuff for taming. We got some... I didn't bring any of our kibble. Hmm. I have to go back to the other map anyways. To grab some of the plant species. I tried to grab some kibble and stuff like that. Totally forgot about it. It's because I have it over in the dino barn. So there's that. Let's try something out here. Not sure if we can do it while the sandstorm's going on. It says we can find water with it too. Let's go up here. That is fantastic! 200 water, so put that away. And you can drink directly from it. That is awesome, dude! Oh, man! So once you get a shovel, how much does it weigh? 12 pounds, okay, that's a little bit heavier than <laughs> a canteen. So, with the canteens, too. You can actually fill up your canteen from here, right? You can't. <gasps> oh, it went away. So it is time limited. Oh, it did fill up, too! Interesting! So if you have a refrigerator, you can take the glass jars, and I think the canteen as well, with water in it, put it in the refrigerator, and then if you get heat stroke out in the sand dunes and stuff, it'll actually kind of cure you from that, right? It'll bring the heat stroke down. Now we've got 100 fortitude, so we shouldn't get the heat stroke too much, I don't think. All depends. We haven't really been out there in the middle of the day, so that might change. Let's go down. Ah, I wanted to wait for the storm to go away, man. Want to go down and set our water tap, but it's going to suck trying to come back up. With no stamina, you know? Let's put the tap over here on this side. Can we make it without falling? Nope. We're going to fall right down there with the... Yep, that's fine. We'll set it on this side over here. At least the uh, sandstorm went away. <laughs> it's one of the worst ones because of your uh, stamina drain, you know? So we'll put you... Over here on the side. I'm so glad they changed the texture on that. It looks a lot better than just a little pipe coming up and out of the ground. 
So, what's the range on this? Not you. Wait, we got pearls! There are pearls right here, too! Like I said, I know there's some over in... The red one, and the blue one. Oh, there's pearls! So, if you have a whip, which ours is up in the base, you can whip right there and it'll pick everything up in the area. So that's kind of cool, man. There's some more if we need it for today. I wanted to see what the range was on the intake. We might not need the water barrel. I mean, we're going to put one out, but we might not need it. So that goes almost all the way to base. So if we set this outside, it'll cover the whole area. All right, let's turn you off. I know, another storm. Junior, wait. That's not ours. It's another one. Ours are both in base. I'm not sure what to put over here on this side. Will the windmill... It's kind of uneven. Can you set it on... You can set it on foundations. It'd be kind of cool to have it over here on this side. What about... Over here? It's kind of where I planned on putting it. It's pretty level here. Let's set it up. Right there. I hope that thing kind of turns direction as the wind goes. Is that... Do I have one on my shoulder? I don't. It's just super loud in my headphones. Do you have any other options? You don't. Just show range. Which is pretty large, man. Very large. All the way over to the obelisk. So not sure what the... I think it was like 9 days on fuel or something like that. 22 days. Wait. Science. We have to do it. So 22 with it. 20 without it. I mean, it's not too bad. Here's what it is. Look, man. Any kind of bonus works, right? A bonus is a bonus regardless. So, super flat here. We will leave it right there. Facing the trees. <laughs> it's good, man. It's fine. It's fine. Alright, so. The water tank. I was thinking... Maybe like right here? Oh, that thing is massive, dude! That can go on the other side for sure. Let's go over here. We could put it like right here. Or... We could set it up like right here. I think right here would be nice. Oh, that is huge, dude! Wait, do we want it? <laughs> we don't want it... We don't want it covering up our window. It might be a little bit bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Let's put it there for the moment. We'll kind of see how it looks. That might get moved... ...back here. Let's get on the bird real quick. Oh, we have it on us. I don't want it to look too weird. I thought it was going to be kind of small, you know? I'm going to be honest, it looks a little bit weird right there. I do like having something right there, though. Let's move it a little bit away from base. Maybe we'll put it right there. That's kind of a good spot, right? We set it, like, right here? What's what's the range? As long as it covers the whole base, we're fine, because I do want to put some of the plant species out. I mean, that works. That works, man. It covers a whole base. Is that bigger than a normal water tank range? It kind of looks like it is. I mean, it's a massive structure, too, right? So, we'll see. We'll see how we like it here. Maybe we'll move it later on. It's simply just picking it up and moving it, you know? So, that is sorted. Why am I flying on you? We don't need... don't need wings for this. I want to get the new preserving bin made as well. And set it up and see how that looks. We need to throw out our dung beetle. I'm thinking for him... Just put them up top here, like I talked about. And I think we need to weigh them down, right? Or do we? Because I think it needs to be on Wandering. Alright, so you can be there. We're putting all of our stuff into damage for range. We might get a higher level one later on. We'll see, we'll see. Make sure you stay there. Let me grab some stone to weigh you down, buddy. 
I can't remember if we need to or not. And then let's do... Wandering. And that should be good there. I wish we had the hitching post. Be able to hook dinos up, keep them from wandering around. I don't think we need that much weight. He's only got... Oh, his weight is super, super tiny, man. We'll do that for now. He'll eventually get overweight from the fertilizer and stuff, and then we can take the stone out. Drop you off, and you. We got the treasure chest. Let's get our new preserving bin making. I'm not sure what it's called. Oh, sap. We'll sit out the treasure chest, see how it looks, and then we'll do a sap run real quick. We'll take the theory out. So, with the treasure chest, let's do it over here. It's in our inventory. Water is depleted. Oh, so there's a range for the water. Interesting. How do we bury this? Can be buried buried for extra security. Place. Okay, gonna place it there. Wrong button, it happens. That is fantastic, man! So you put it on the ground. And then you can bury it. So I'm guessing that we're the only ones that can see the sparkles since we buried it. Reveals in about 13 days. Okay, so it got 14 days. It's not permanent. Yeah, I'm guessing this is just for us. So how do we get it back out? Oh! If you remove the shovel, it's gone! You can still see the lights from it. Interesting! Oh, that is awesome, dude. That is awesome! Guys, man, look, it's... <laughs> All we need now is a pirate-themed map. We got the buried treasure. Give us some ships. Not the raft, not the canoe, but a proper one. And we'd have Atlas. <laughs> I'm just saying, dude. I'm just saying. How many slots? Quite a few, actually. Fifteen? It's like a normal little storage chest. That's not bad, man. Wait, what did it say? Oh, store your items. Let's pick you up. I like it, dude. That's kind of cool, man. That's kind of cool. We're thirsty. So for this, we'll place it up probably by our bed. The treasure chest, man. Need to keep it safe. I like it, man. I like it. That's kind of cool. It's a little things, man. Little things to play around with, you know? Alright, so that's done with. Let's grab the theory. We'll head out and I'll show you about the... The sap. You want to go on him? I think we want to go on the bird just to avoid everything. So I noticed too, man, with ASA, the trees don't flicker. The Joshua trees in ASC used to be bugged out pretty bad and would constantly, they would have leaves, and all of a sudden they wouldn't have leaves. Then they would, then they wouldn't. So that is definitely fixed. I mean, it might have been just a game engine thing. Never know. But what we're looking for for the sap are these right here. So you got the palm trees, you got the cactus trees, and then you got these guys, Joshua trees, man. They give you some sap. And I was doing stuff wrong with the cactus, farming with the theory. I don't use theories very often, obviously. But with those, if you use the other attack, there's three attacks on this guy. Apparently that's what you use for the sap, or for the, uh, yeah, the uh, cactus sap. And it's a headbutt one. And that's not going to give us any of the stuff we need now. The regular sap, it should be just normal harvesting. Maybe not with the theory? Why is the theory so weird on getting different items? How do I don't use it all the time? We'll use the, uh, the pick real quick. Yep. Stuff on the ground. That is the Joshua tree, right? Short little stubby ones. Used to give you a ton of the sap and stuff. Maybe it's just the normal... What? They had to have changed it. Had to have. Now, I did get one piece from one of these trees. We got it in our... Our storage. That's using the pick. Get this guy over there. Might need to make a chainsaw and use it. How much of the electronics do we need for the chainsaw? Not that. 
25. We could make a chainsaw real quick. Let's do that. It'll be easier, and we should have the option to get more of the sap and stuff, I think. That is a tree you get it from, though. Hmm, super weird. Alright, give me a minute. I'm gonna grab the whip, get some more of the silica pearls, and we'll make the chainsaw, and hopefully be able to get some of that stuff. It looks kind of cool down there. It's not too bad. It's nice and flat right there, so it kind of works. I know, buddy. I hear you, Junior. I hear you, man. Right, we got 73 on the polymer. We need to make two more real quick before it spoils. And it turns out we got a treasure map, too. I'm guessing that's from our treasure chest that we buried, because it's got a weird number on it. So that's the normal one that I found first. And this one has a number up there. So I'm guessing that's for the one that we buried. I don't know. We'll see. Whenever we deal with the treasure map, we'll take a look and see. So... I need some more metal. That's what I'm missing. Didn't get as much of the pearls as I was hoping. I only found them around where it kind of drops down over there. I kind of checked all around here. and Couldn't find any more. I mean, it's fine. We should have enough for this. 15 more there. We need to make... We'll make two of these. I don't want to use up all of our stuff, but that's what we need more of the obsidian for, was making some more polymer. I only found the one mantis, and we got quite a bit of polymer from it. 73, maybe 74. I think one spoiled. So it's not too bad on that. Let's see, we're good there. Let's do the polymer. Two of those. And then one of those. Hopefully that'll allow us to get some of the sap a little bit easier. We'll take 10 of these. Let's take 20. It'll be fine. Not that! The door, man. The door. Holy crap, dude. Did we lose our stuff? We lost our stuff! I am 100% going to spawn that back in. That shouldn't be a thing. If you lose power while it's crafting, you lose all your stuff. How is that a thing, man? I'm spawning them in. I am 100% spawning them in. We need... It's 25 of the electronics and 75 polymer. Hold on, let me get that stuff spawned in. That is a very, very bad mistake. I can't believe you lose it. It should kind of be down there in... in line to still be made, right? You would think? Alright, give me a second. Let me get this kind of sorted out. That sucks, dude. That sucks bad. One chainsaw made? That is nuts, dude. I cannot believe that, man. Alright. Let's head over real quick on the bird. And check this out. Hopefully we can grab the the sap, man. Alright, so whenever you do hit it, like the one that has a lot of sap, if you're doing it with the chainsaw, of course you get a bunch more. It's just super random whenever you actually get it. I got like 11 out of that one. Huh. I guess the ones that I hit over there just didn't have any sap in it, right? Kind of makes me wonder if the theory... I like this one too, man. Nothing in it at all. Interesting. I think I like it. It's kind of cool. Little bits. <laughs> I just need five more. And we should be good for the day. There's four. We got one bag of base. And there's our five. Let's leave it there. That should be good enough. Yep, a lot of bugs over here, man. A lot of stuff, dude. Holy crap. Your bow is everywhere. Our bird is, like, way over here, too. Kind of cool, man. So glad to see your boas again. Cannot wait to see Shinehorns in Aberration. It's my favorite map, man. Aberration is a map that I love the most and hate the most at the same time. Obvious reasons, right? I mean, it's Aberration. But I cannot wait to see how it looks in uh, the Unreal Engine 5, man. Oh, it's going to be so nice, especially the blue zone. I mean, even the, the green zone, right? Kind of curious what they're going to do with the earthquakes. Uh, I, for one, would prefer them to not be a thing, but, I mean, it is what it is, man. Kind of uh, excited about the Ravagers and the Shinehorns mainly, though. Ravagers are perfect for that map because it's a no-flyer map. Are you empty? You are. Let's go ahead and pick you up. Just for safety. A lot of creatures around. Alright, so. Let's turn that off. Let's put this in here. That is the storage one. Perfect. That is for the foods, right? Yep. And then we got some cactus sap as well for our food and water. Drop that in here. I'll drop off 
Let's leave the gas. I am not touching... <laughs> I'm not touching the generator again! Can't believe that. Can't believe we lost our stuff. Oh, there's the barrel. It's done already. So, how big are you? Decent size. Okay. Do some testing before we change it all the way up fully. So, can seal in five minutes. Interesting! 40 slots. 48 slots. Okay. Do we have... We do not have the ability to make jerky in this. Okay. So, let's take out just some of these. We'll take out some of that. I don't know if we need spark powder. 30 seconds. Do we have to seal it? To store stuff? I think we do. That's what these seal timers for. Interesting. So... Say you have some things you don't use very much, like we're gonna have probably... These and those, we won't use too often. Maybe we've got some extra meat stored up that we just want to save for later. We should be able to put it in here and seal it. I'm guessing maybe it'll kind of stop the... ...spoiling altogether? That'd be kind of cool, man, really, if that's a thing. Let's pick you up. I think for you... ...we want to put you out here. Right? We'll stack it maybe right here. Let the timer run down. Hopefully I don't forget. And we'll do some testing and see how that kind of works out. Now I'm hoping if you unseal it, you don't have to wait out the timer again to be able to reseal it, right? That's kind of a cool mechanic, man. 40 slots for like a permanent seal for a while. If it stops the spoiling altogether, oh, that is going to be perfect, dude. Perfect. So, let's get to some decorating. Crop plots are done, right? Irrigated. They are. Not fertilized, not seeded. Double check Junior real quick. How you doing, buddy? So that's good there on range and stuff. We got one, so he is doing his thing. We can take that out for weights, and he should be fine. So, let's see what we need for making our items for today. I want to take a look at the lamps, first of all. So we need flint and stone. Take a stack of each. Let's make one to start off. Do some testing. I kind of want to make this if we can. Need some fiber. Might be kind of cool just to have out and in the yard. We've got... What else in here? A lot of this stuff is made in our inventory. I just want to get the stuff out of the smithy done so we don't have to worry about missing anything. we got a sign. Need some thatch. Not sure if we'll keep it and use it, but again, I want to check it out. We got the cart. We'll play with that once we get a... We just need some cement paste. We're thirsty. How expensive is a cart? Not too bad. Okay. One of those. We'll hook it up to the cat if we can. If not, we'll save it for later. And test it out on a different creature. Oh yeah, we got a mirror. We're out of obsidian. And, oh, 100 pearls. We don't have that for now. We can always check that out later. And that's kind of it for in here. Let's set that out. We'll check out this. We'll check out that. Raptor. Save the ammo. Use the cats. Leave the Jerboa alone! If you didn't know, man, Jerboas are fantastic for getting hide from early game. They give you, I think, like 20, 25 hide for each one. So it's not bad at all. Let's do... The cart first. We're not going to build on it. How does this work? Drop? We don't, <laughs> don't want to drop it. How do we place it out? Not in the inventory. Transfer? Not transfer. How do we set it out to use it? I guess seven? Or not seven, but put it down on a hockey? You cannot put it on a hockey. Can I have some... Equipable? I have some instructions on some of this stuff, I'm just saying. Equip. We cannot equip it onto a saber. Has to be a bigger creature. Oh, that kind of sucks. We'll save it for later. Not that big of a deal. Junior, sorry buddy, I tried giving you something. But, it doesn't work. So we got this little bell. Maybe we can set it down here. 
for some looks, I'm thinking. Neat little bell. Can we interact with it? Oh, that's cool. Has a little effect, too, man. Oh, that's neat, man. I like it. I like it. You're getting invaded. You can sound the alarm. Okay, turn it off. Turn it off. Look. Look. Stop. Stop. Holy crap, dude. So it has a range for sound, too, it said. Pretty large. Goes over to the edge of the water over there. It's kind of neat. At least you can't get annoyed by it, right, if your neighbor's got the uh, bell going the whole time. <laughs> it's kind of neat. Just want it for decoration. So, check out the lamp. That is massive! I thought that was like... Dude, look, man. That is a small little indoor light, okay? There's different variations, though. Okay, there we go. That's not too bad. We got an oil lamp. Well, wall lamp. Interesting. We got a chandelier. Oh, uh, that's kind of cool. And then the... The outside one. So let's put this on a wall. Powered. Must contain fuel to light the fire. Lights and warms the immediate area. Look, dude, why did you release this on scorched earth? Where we don't need <laughs> any more heat than what we got. But it says that it's powered. It's not too much on the light and stuff. Let's make it nighttime. Let's turn this off. Is that one light making that so bright? Why are we looking weird? It is so bright over here. Oh, it's because it's changing to nighttime. Never mind, never mind. Look. I'm new here. That's a good bit of light. It's kind of soft light too, man. Oh, that looks fantastic, dude. So, we can put up quite a few of those here at base. And use that, man. So, it says that it makes it warm as well. It's a bad place to test because of the ACs. We just tested it right here. So we're at... 895. Kind of weird. Oh yeah, it went up because of the... Okay, so it, it does a good little bit of heat. Hmm, not too bad though, really. That looks fantastic. Let's look at the other variations. So we got the regular outside post. Decent amount. Not too bad. Looks kind of cool. It seems very, very tall. I mean, it's a street light right, though, right? Now that'll kind of go on the outside over there, where the barrel is. And then you have the little one here, which set it on the floor. That's cool, man. I like it, dude. I like it. It kind of fits in with everything regardless, right? So we'll do a bunch of these. We'll do maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Can we do ten? Nine more? And that'll be enough for down here. The cart will save for later. I know it's dark, man. Give me a second. We're making some lights. We'll do... One above here for right now. Maybe we'll do another one above that window. And then we'll set one right there. We'll set one above that window. And then we'll do some upstairs, and that should be good. One there. Hello. There we go. One there. One over here. I don't think we need one right there with both of these. That's a good amount of light, man. I'd like to see how it kind of picks up on the recording, but that might be enough for... having a base here. I am so glad they removed the flicker on the lights and stuff. It was... Oh, dude, that was so bad with... Um, ASC. And we can do one more over here. I want to change one of these out to a window. Let's just go ahead and do this one. I know, I know. 
There's a wall there too, but having a window is kind of nice as well. So be able to see out, man. Let some light in during the day. We got four more. Maybe I overmade these a little bit, but I mean, that's fine. We could put some outside as well. We'll do one above here. That works, man. I like that a lot, dude. Those are fantastic. I am so glad to not have the wall torches. They're quiet too, right? That's one of the main things. And we could change that over to a window here. And put one up there. Let's do that. Wish the fabricator was a little bit smaller. That's cool, man. We won't put any over here. And then outside, we could do... How many do we have left? We got two. We could do one right here. Outside light. We'll do one more out over here. We'll do it right by there. We'll do it right here. We can see. Oh, that is fantastic, dude. I like it, man. The lights are perfect. All right, so lights are done. Where are we at in life with crafting in here? Don't know about these. We've got some of these I want. Let's grab some crystal. See how those kind of look. Let's say, don't tell me. <laughs> We're out of crystal. We should have quite a few stacks of it almost. We'll do five of those, and then we'll see about making the table to set them on. There's supposed to be some new tables too, right? I'm hoping they kind of work out with our looks. We're going to need metal ingot, cement paste, and wood. Let's make one more that we can kind of get rid of the rest of this crystal. We're going to need some paste. We're going to need some metal. We'll grab some thatch. We'll grab some wood. We got the sign too to test that out. So that's a saloon table. We don't really have that kind of look, but let's try it out. We got the chairs. We're missing some wood. We'll make two of those. This I'm probably not going to make, man. One, we don't have the stuff. Two, I just don't like the leather look of it. There's some stools, right? Need some fiber. Let's make two of those. Let's make four. And then... What else do we have in here? I wish we could kind of sort this by the new items as well. I mean, it's fine though. Not a big deal. Not seeing anything else. I wish we could put out some of these. But it's super hot around here for that. And then I want to see about this. It says that it's a display case for chibi and cryopods. What does it do for the uh, cryopods? Let's make one. And then we got the clay pots. I definitely want to take a look at those. Let's make five. Just for testing. I know it's a lot for testing. That's kind of it. Oh, that kind of sucks. What about this? We need some hide. Let's make two of those. We gotta have the war map. You gotta be able to see the whole whole land around here, you know? And I think that is gonna be it for new items. I thought there was more, man. It's all good. You need to make some of the large crop plots, too, to set out the new plant species. Definitely need the fertilizer, though, first for that. So are we good? Crafting two of those, we're done. One more, we'll empty out our inventory. So we can actually walk. Alright, so, first things first. Let's do this. First things first. Let's empty our inventory. <laughs> oh, it's a, it's a stone, dude. This stuff is super heavy, man. Alright, so let's grab a cry... Well, we got the bird. We can test it out with him. That is awesome, dude! I know that was part of the island as well. I just never knew that was... That was a thing. That is fantastic. We're definitely doing a lot of those, man. Definitely gonna do a lot of those. So, that kind of works out for things that you want to tame just for colors. We'll have those around the base for... Now, can we just use that for storage? We can. Grab that out, and you're ready to go. I like that. Let's put some... I don't want to have them destroyed out here. We're kind of shy in room. Let's put the Quetzal right here, man. 
That is fantastic, man! And they have the animation for moving, too, right? Wait, you can pet it? You can pet it! I had no idea! I noticed, too, man, the Ketos don't make the noise that they normally do in ASC when they're around base. Just realize that. It's kind of cool, man. I like that, dude. I like it. All right, so, moving on. Let's check out the table. Very large table. It's not going to really fit in here. Ah, dude, that kind of sucks. It could go up here. I was hoping there was going to be a long one, you know? We could put it out here. It's kind of cool, man. I mean, it's it's raining. It's storming. But at least it's something, something out here to have. Now, hopefully that doesn't block our sun coming through. We have the little tables, our little chairs. Why would you not have it facing the other way when you're placing it down? Just saying. One there. And then... One over here. That way me and my Jerboa can sit here and enjoy the sunset while we're having some food. Let's put out a couple of these. Everybody likes a drink. Kind of cool. And you can shoot them too, it said, right? Using for target practice. Oh, there's different ones! Not that button. Wild Dodo Bottle. Northern Comfort. Scorched Gut. And Tickle Chicken. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Let's do them all different. Let's do this. Let's do this. We only got a couple of them. Let's pick up you. And you. And you. I need to pick up one of those chairs and see if there's a different variation. Wait a minute. Is the table have a different variation? It doesn't. Okay. Wanted to make sure before we go placing stuff down if they got more than one kind. I always forget about that. It's kind of a new thing with ASA, right? And the chair only has one kind as well. So for the bottles, what we'll do is that we just got a couple. We'll set them in the middle here. And let me change it back to daytime so we can actually see. Give me a second. Let me fix this. Actually, I can just do it right here. There we go. It's kind of cool, man. Different flavors of bottles. I like it, dude. I like it. What about the stools? One kind. I'm going to place one right here. Maybe we want to just sit here and watch the Morella Tops get mauled by the Raptors. I mean, you never know, man. Look. The way that it goes sometimes. We'll place one up here. Get out of bed. Sit right there. Put on your little boots and stuff, man. I'm just saying. It's just to add a little bit of life to the place, man. That's all, that's all. Nothing out here. We can do some outside here, too. Right here. Alright, so there's that. We've got... Oh, we got one more bottle. Not a problem. Let's do another one of the... Tickle chicken. Just because. That's cool, man. I like it, dude. I like it. Alright, so we got some of the war maps. Let's put one... Let's say above the bed. It'd be kind of weird, because it's going to be all set. We'll do one right here. That's the, uh, the whole map. Not too bad. Like I said, man, it's a small map, which is kind of cool. But, uh, it's got a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff in it, man. A lot of neat stuff. And the other one, we can place down here. Where? I have no idea. Maybe... Maybe right here. Or above the door. Nope, above the door we'll do the sign. Oh, it's going to be a hanging sign. That's kind of interesting. You can do it out here too. I was wondering about that. Hmm, that's kind of neat. Not sure we'll put that up. I thought it was going to be like a big sign to go on the wall up there. So we'll save it for later. And then I wanted to, before I forget, try something real quick. I totally forgot to do. Not there. In here. I wanted to put some of these on here. I can't put it across there. I was hoping we could. Ah, oh, that sucks, dude. I was looking for something to make this look a little bit better. 
along the sides. It kind of bugs me that there's nothing there. And we can do this, I think, along here too, right? We can't. I was thinking along the front there. It'll go right there. That's kind of weird, though. Oh, wait. It does. There we go. That looks a lot better, man. Really wish we could do one along there. We might be able to. Let's make up two more of those real quick. Easy. I know we got painting to do today as well, but it's not too much. Where's my clay at? Railings. Let's just do four. If we can, we'll put it on that other part up there, and that'll be good. Now, as far as the painting, I need to grab some stuff. I'm not exactly sure what color to do for the roof. I was thinking to try to find, like, a dark blue. I I, I want to do the, the red brick color, but I don't like red, man. Not a fan of red at all. So if we can find, like, a dark blue or something like that that kind of works out, we'll do that instead. What are we missing for... Let's just do the railings we have. I don't want to spend all day messing with railings again. I just want to see if I can kind of clip it into... Oh, we can. Okay. I was clipping the wrong place. Nice, man. Nice. That looks fantastic, dude. That looks so much better. Kind of like a finished edge on it, you know? I like it, man. I like it. Junior, go somewhere else, buddy. Go somewhere else. Are you stuck? You're level 90. We might bowl him and tame him. I'm just saying, dude. It's an option. So. Drop off those. Now, for these, I heard that what you do is you have this with a clay pot in your inventory and you smack a tree. Bush added to plant pot. So that should be one of those trees. Okay. What about... Bush added to plant pots. Now how do we know... Oh! So it's that one. I didn't want that one. Can we get rid of it? Remove. Oh, that's another... I mean, that's kind of cool. That is awesome. Oh, dude, I want to put a bunch of these purple ones around. That's going to be the silk plants. I do something like that to kind of cover that up. We need to remove this. Oh, we need to play with our preserving bin, too. Let's put some of these outside for the moment. So how do we hit the, the trees? Can we hit the trees? Can we not hit the trees? We can't. Tree does not work. It's going to be the plants themselves. Give me a minute. I'm going to make up some more of those. Run around and grab a bunch of these. And then we'll set them out here around base. And we'll take a look at this. Seems like that's kind of ready to seal. Give me a minute. I want to make some more of the, uh, <laughs> the clay pots. I want quite a few, man. We'll put a bunch of them out here. That is fantastic, though, man. Do we need water? Or fertilizer? I don't think so. Interesting, man. Interesting. Alright, give me a second. Dude, I'm gonna be so busy off camera. You have no idea. Holy crap, man. That is fantastic with the shovel in the plant. So it's kind of hard to pick out which one you want. So best thing to do is find some that are kind of off by themselves like this. Super simple versus getting <laughs> a lot of those, man. So, show you what I have. I almost use up all of our stuff for making these, but... We got quite a few. Got quite a few. So we have this. We've already seen these out here. Let's put another one out here. I got four of these. I wanted to put a couple of them out here. Just to make them kind of bigger. We got some of these, which I want to put inside. Because they're kind of tall and out of the way. So one there. Wait. One there. The other one of these... Go here. There's one more. Oh, we have another one. We got some of these little ones. Kind of go like right here. It's not too bad. Maybe uh, right here by the door. We got this big one. Kind of has the white flowers on it. I think about doing some of these up top here. 
Again, a lot of this will change off camera whenever I have time to sit down and take a look at it. Maybe we'll place this right here. And we'll move our... I'm getting pushed away right here. That is super weird. Is that the... The plant doing that? Let me pick this up real quick. That's the other tall one. That's a little uh, yellow bush. That's a massive one there, which is kind of weird because the uh, <laughs> the pot is gone. And that's just a regular bush. Where's the other one that I just had? There we go. Hey, that one has a very big collision. Probably just a bug that gets sorted out here eventually. Let's put some of the... Not that one. That one's too massive, man. I know it's not very much, but it kind of works. A little something up here. It's just kind of like a little bush, man. It's a, it's a dead one. We, we haven't watered them. That's the problem. These, I really like these. They kind of fit with the whole... Look at this map. Place one up here. And this big thing... We'll put it downstairs. I know it's not the perfect amount of decorating, but I do a lot of stuff off camera to make it look better. So instead of having to plant species out all the time to make stuff look good, we can get a bunch of those. We got some regular bushes here too. I wanted to put kind of like right here. A little bit of greenery. Dude, that is fantastic, man. Oh, dude. I really like the uh the shovel thing. Again, part of Eco's mods. She had some stuff to where you could use a shovel. And instead of having crop plots for planting your vegetables and stuff, you could actually do it in the ground out here. It was fantastic, man. Hoping they were going to have something like that implemented in the base game, but it's what it is, man. Not that big of a deal. Let's check this out. We'll do some painting and call it for the day. So, for our testing, we'll use this. Wait a minute. That picked up... The stool picked up into a regular wooden chair. Interesting. Again, probably another bug. So put that in there. The spoil time on... These are currently 2 hours and 41 minutes. 7 minutes. Still 7 minutes. If we seal the barrel... We cannot access it. Let's give it a minute. Let's grab our paints. 7 minutes, 41 seconds is what it was when we put it in here. We'll open it back up here in a minute. Literally, like, one minute. And if it's still at 741, or right about that, then that means it kind of takes away all the spoil time. Morella Thompson Jr. over there. I like it. So let's put these back in here for now. Oh, we put all of them in there. Where is the paint gun? We'll need this. Probably need some soap. We'll grab our paintbrush and then let's take a look at some dyes real quick and see what we want to make up. So for this, I'm thinking blues. I was thinking something like this, man. That way it's not... Oh, you know what? We can't do these because we don't have the cyan berry. Oh, that sucks, dude. I don't know if we can harvest those. I think we can pick some of those normal, right? I was thinking like a dark color like this. If you didn't know too, not sure why it's in with the dyes. Cactus broth is something you can make on this map. It slows down your water consumption and helps out some, right? It also takes it to where creatures can't see you. That's close. It's almost like having Gelly on. Super, super nice for stuff, like whenever you're down in the Dragon Trench. But let's get some of these cyan berries and then we'll try this one. See how it looks, man. We might have some in storage over here too. Oh, we do. Okay, I couldn't remember if you had to grow those, or how that worked out. Disable autocraft. Let's make... Two of those, that should be ten, right? Okay, we'll try that first. Let's put you down here. Put you over there, we are definitely keeping you on us. And that right there. So, I did not forget. Perfectly preserves it. That is fantastic, dude. So you put anything in there, seal it, and it won't spoil. 40 slots. That is perfect, dude. Oh, I like it, man. I like it. I was hoping it was going to be something to replace the preserving bin. So what I plan on doing, 
is we'll get the vaults, right? Probably put the vault in the corner. We'll put the chemistry bench right here. And then for the preserving bin itself, it's only going to be used for making jerky. We'll put that up top here. Maybe just like right over here by the side. We're out of water. And then we'll have our refrigerator maybe down here as well. Let's grab... The cats. I need to put a tap in here in base. Let's just make one. Let's do it right now. I need to have some for the crop plots anyways. I know it's not required, but I like I like the uh, look of them. Let's... Turn you around. A little bit of water there. Little bits of... Water there. And we don't need them up top because you won't be able to see them anyways. We'll drink. And that'll be our source of water for in base here. Nice. So that's sorted out. Let's double check our fertilizer as well. We got three. We could throw some of these in there too just to get our plants going. Um, let's do that. Not sure if we have enough seeds, money to take out the... We don't. We got two. Just a two. <laughs> I do some more farming on the Anki here. Let's, uh... Leave all this back in the dung beetle. Oh, he's full. Maybe he'll have enough here soon. Before we go. Let's put this on here. Let's go up to the roof, first of all. And see how it looks. See, I was wanting to do something that's not black. And that's kind of dark like it, but it's not at the same time. So maybe we'll do all of these. And then... I think for the adobe itself, maybe we want to paint... I need to do some rearranging here to kind of make that fit better. What do we have for color fields? We've got this, which is going to be the front. We don't want to paint that. That's going to be the back. Don't want to paint that. We could just do the actual beams themselves. And that'll fit in with the whole look of the base. Let's try one where we can actually see the front and the back down here. Not this one. That one's got a, a light on it. I mean, kind of all of them do, right? Anybody? I'll tell you what, let's do this. We have some. Perfect way to test, man. <laughs> It'll work. I right, just that. Ah, I don't know if I want to do the whole base like that. I was hoping to have something like the nails. It would look kind of good in here, because it will give a little bit of color than just the normal look. Now, instead of painting the walls themselves, if we want to leave those like it is, we can always paint the ceilings, right? The ceilings and this. It's kind of like our accent pieces. Just the wood. And then leave the walls themselves normal. Maybe we'll do that. Let's pick you back up. I'm really weird with, with uh, painting this stuff. If you haven't noticed, man, I don't do too much because I never know how to do it how I want. Let's make up some more of those blues. I do like it. And it's kind of what I was looking for. Something that's kind of dark. Not too bright, but it adds a tiny bit of color, you know? Just keeps stuff a little bit different. Probably didn't need that many, but we've got the berries that are going to spoil anyways. Might as well use them. And that'll be enough for our painting. Let's go ahead and load up this. And what color field was it? Color field six. And luckily, we don't have too many of these to paint. What you got, buddy? Rain coming? Look, buddy, we're painting, man. We're painting. We don't need the rain here to wash away our paint. Oh, wait. So down here, should we actually do the underside as well? To add a little bit of different texture and stuff. Let's get out the paintbrush. So we know it's six. Let's do six. 
and four. Maybe we'll leave that just like it normally is. I like that. Then we have a little bit of the normal to break it up some. I might be able to reach all that without actually going up on the bird. I don't think so. Let's get on the bird. The bird's on the thing. Hmm. Let's pick up a wall. We can walk right out onto... Oh, we can actually reach it here. Don't jump, Junior. Don't jump. Alright, so far up here... On the ceilings... We're doing just the wood. So we'll do three and six. And it's gonna be just for the inside. Alright. There we go. Little bit of color. Kind of missed these right here. I think the plant itself was in the way. We can't paint it because of the plant being up there. Interesting. Let's pick it up. I definitely want to get it painted. And then we missed... Oh, what, what color do we need for... The underside of this. Is it four? It is. We need to do six and four on this one, so let's just do four as well. Let's pick up the plants with the huge collision. And then what color fields was it? We'll just do it with the paintbrush. Six and three. Place you back down. Now, could we grow crops in those? I don't think so, right? So that's done there, that's done there. I like that, man. I like that a lot. Alright, so for the doors... We'll do the wood only. That's gonna be six, five, four. I'll do all of our doors. And I'm not sure, man. I kind of want to put the shutters on these, but I don't at the same time. I'm kind of torn about it. That's why we haven't put them up yet. Is that all the doors we have? Two up here? And that's sorted. We could, and then paint the shutters, and that'll give us a little bit more color, right? Again, I don't want too much color. I want just a little bit. Let's go up top and paint that. The walls, though, I think we're gonna leave... Ah, we might paint the insides. Because I like how that looks. Adds more color to it. If we just paint the slats on the inside, might, might look good. Might work out. And we'll leave some of the ones around the doorway just as plain wood. Use this because I totally forgot the color fields. It's going to be six and three. Now, is this the same? Six, four, three. Thought about painting some of these. We can check out the color fields. Now, for these, we might just do something like field two. Tiny, tiny bits of color. Now I could probably change some of these colors up to something else. I <laughs> look, man. Me painting stuff one color is is like a huge improvement from normal. If you've noticed in ASA, we try to do a lot of painting, but we're not really doing that in any other series. Can I fall down, please? I don't want to put away my paint gun because we have paint selected. I think we'll go ahead and do these as well. Might as well just do them all. Oh, we can't. It's because that thing's in the way. Let's we'll just pick this up all together. We'll place it back down at the end of the video. Oh, you can't paint it on there. Interesting. Does it have a different color field? Huh. That's a bug. We're doing two. 
All right, man, kind of got stuff sorted out. Came out to do a little bit of farming for some seeds. We can actually get our crops planted. I'll wait for the rest of the stuff from the dung beetle here soon. He'll, he'll get it made up, man. A couple more of the pieces of fertilizer, and we should be good to go. But, got everything painted, I think. Went ahead and put the windows on, or the doors on the outside of the windows. Kind of looks pretty cool. We'll see, man. Let me get up here, and I'll show you what we have. Let's grab you and you. And then you and you. I want to get some more of these to kind of put up around the sides. Not sure, man. I was going to put some of the plant species up. We still might do that. We'll have to see. Not really a priority at the moment, though, seeing how we got all this new stuff. So that's five, six, seven, eight. And that'll do for now. So one in there. So all the bottom row has the fertilizer and then one up here. So what we're going to do is we'll do one of each, I think, right? And just kind of mirror it on the top. And that one should be the long grass. Alright, so it's kind of sorted out. Not sure if it's all the same. I mean, it's fine, though. I think it is. Two big ones, two short ones. It's fine. It's going to do it a little bit different. In here, I think we're going to leave it kind of like it is down here below. Ah, oh, man, I thought about doing the inside blue for just the wood slats. I kind of like it how it is, to be honest with you. And I just did the doors themselves. I didn't do the outside window frame. I thought about it, but it might look kind of weird. And I like having these just on the inside slats and the frame itself being normal. But there's the windows. Got some plants out here. I know we're missing one over there. It's fine. I need to sort these out a little bit better. It'll kind of be easier once we get our flags up to be able to put some more of these out. Probably grab a couple more of the purple ones. I don't know. Kind of like them, man. That and then the actual bush that's out there. I like it. I want to put some more right here, but maybe a plant species. We'll make some large crop plots before we go and set them out. And do some testing and see how that kind of works. We got the seeds for it. The Ketsa looks fantastic, man. We could make a couple more of those. What do we need for the displays? We should have everything that we need. Right, so we got one there. Really like how this area is, man. That looks nice and homey right there. This side, not quite so much. We got some moving around to do. I'll try to get stuff together between this video and next one for the... I don't know if we'll be able to do the vault or not. Super expensive for that. We could put one out here. We could do the cats. Or not the cat, but the uh, Dodic and Anki. We've got one left for the Theri. So... We're going to need some of the plant species. We'll keep the mushroom as well. Let's just... That's all fine, man. Super easy to get the uh, stuff from him. It's like a big lawnmower, dude. You can see a whole trail that I went up the uh, side of the cliff. <laughs> up there. And then up there a little bit. It's kind of cool. Hopefully it grows back. It doesn't look too weird. And we'll do this real quick. And the video has gone on far too long. It's the way that it goes sometimes. We'll keep the hide. Not worried about the meat. So, we'll do the Dodic and Anki awesome, man. Oh, that is fantastic. Can't believe I left that, uh, or didn't do that in the other ones. Oh, we got the UD, too! We'll do our Dodic here. We'll do our Fairy there. That's awesome. And we need to make one more, right? Or two more. We got the cats. Did I place one down and don't realize where I put it? Oh, right here. That is awesome. And then for the UD... I don't want to put him hats. I keep thinking... <laughs> those are the stairs to go up. We can do the, uh... The UD here. Let's pick you up. Move you over. Maybe we'll put the cat up here because it's my... My favorite creature. And we'll put the UD down where the cat is. He can be guarding the cryos. We need this, and what else? Metal. One display, please. And thank you. Leave that, we'll leave that. This, this, and this. And then we'll change this guy out. It's awesome. They kind of scale pretty well, too, right? Do the cat right here. 
That's not too bad, man. It's not too bad, dude. Nice and homey in here. All right, so let's do a couple of the crop plots for one, two, three, four. We'll do four for right now of the plant species. Get those growing outside and see how it looks. Give me a minute. I need to make up some of the crop plots. Where is my stone? We got some in there. Here it is. Let me make these up and then we'll kind of go from there. All right, couple foundations. That way the crop plots will be nice and level. So I was thinking if we do one over here, might look kind of cool going up right there. We'll have to pick this up and move it. Not a big deal. All right, so there's going to be one. And don't forget, we do have water all in this area, so kind of works out. Make sure that clips in. Let's do one of those. One of those. Should see a small little plant growing. Give it a second. We'll check back on it. Wait, is it irrigated? Not irrigated. It'll take it a second to catch up, I think. Oh, we can do the shovel as well. It should speed it up some, right? Put you right there. Not connected. What? Is this not providing water? Is it empty? It's full. Well, that is super strange. It's not connected either. Give me a minute and let me play with this. Something is definitely bugged with the... the water tank. I'm gonna make another normal one. And place it out and see if that fixes it. If so, then that thing is not working like it should be. Okay, so we got water. So maybe that thing doesn't provide water to crop plots like I'm thinking. Maybe that acts as a tap. Maybe the tap fills it up and that kind of distributes it to the other areas. I put our water tank just for the moment right here for testing. What is the range? Not very big. I need to move it. Let's pick it up. I don't want this to be visible right now. It's only a temporary fix for the water situation. Ah, dude, where can we put it? Maybe down here? I want it out of the way for the moments. Of course, not visible. <laughs> that kind of sucks, dude. Oh, man, that thing should be acting as a normal water tank. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I wonder if we can hide it here with our... Crop plots. Because we are putting another one right here. Let's turn off clipping. We'll place that there for the moment. We'll place this here. We'll place our other crop plots. Should be fertilized, or not fertilized, but irrigated. Give it a second. Let it catch up. Put a seed in here as well. We are. So that'll grow up and kind of cover that up. That is super weird, though. Hopefully this extends out to... It does the backside over here. Hmm. Not sure how I feel about that. The other one I was going to put was going to be right here. Do it down below where you were. That was perfect. Let's do... One there. We'll pick this one up. A little bit of fertilizer. Seed. I'm going to do one more. Should we do it back here? Should. Kind of cover that up a little bit. We don't need the taps either, so it's just kind of bugged with the, the tank down there. Not sure the point in it, man. If it's not going to work like I think it does, I'll just pick it up and get rid of it. You know? Kind of sucks, but is what it is. Alright, so those should be growing. They are. Look at them, man. Little sprouts there. I think we're kind of set. I did put all the pillars around the baseboards. So we do have a frame down there. Holy crap, dude. Stay there, man. We will tame you, I'm telling you. Actually, let's just get you out of there. Get you out of there, buddy. Go that way, man. Go that way. Go that way. Go that way. I will kill you off if I have to. Poof. He's gone. Actually, I can probably use the fur. Am I hitting? I'm not. <laughs> we're good. We're good. Nice, man. Nice. Let's do a quick overview before we go. Let's drop all this stuff out of the inventory so they can despawn. 
So, our base. Here is the entrance. We'll have some more of these later on. I don't want to put some there. And then maybe some down over here. We got our little chibis out here. We're kind of thirsty. It happens. We got our preserving barrel. I like that thing, man. That is fantastic. I have to see what I want to put in there to seal up. Some more of our stuff. Our cooking area. We got our lights outside. We got our preserving salts. Oh, yeah. On these stairs, I just did the, the frame on the sides. Inside here, same thing with our doors. Just the frames. We've got our garden growing. Holy crap. Very, very fast. I like it, dude. I like it. We got our plants. I want to get some more of these. I like the tall ones. They kind of fit with the terrain around here. This side will kind of get sorted out once we get a vault. We'll change this around to where the vaults are over there and the chemistry bench is here. A little bit less crowded, but for now it works because I can stay in here and get to all of our stuff, including the storage. Fabricator. Way too big than what we need it for, but is what it is. Out here. Got a little bit more of our flowers. I want to get a bunch more of those. Like I said, we're kind of shy on the cement paste. That's why I'm not making too many more right now. This area, though, ah, man, that side looks so nice on the base. We've got our industrial forge out here, and that's... I didn't paint them. Not sure what colors will really work out with our base. Might paint it later on. We'll have to wait and see. Generator under the stairs. We got our cat up here. We got our bed, our stool, a couple more of the plants. We got our <laughs> treasure chest. I like it, dude. That thing is fantastic, man. Jerboa's keeping watch. We got our nice little area for watching the sunset, eating some dinner, having some drinks. Let's place our one plant that is kind of bugged out back up here. Not that one, not that one. Increase foliage size. Oh, you can change it. Well, that's kind of cool. We're going to leave that one up here. That is a non-bugged one. It actually fits in the pot now. Oh, that is fantastic, dude. Do they all have that option? This one isn't bugged. We'll leave it up here for sure. They do. Leave those all the way up on max. So that kind of changes up how you can do this as well with the, the bigger ones, right? Look, man, I keep saying it all the time. It's, it's the little things in games that make everything so much better. This adds so much more uh, customization to these, right? So you have the plants, which is one thing, but now you can change the size. You can make that all the way small and just have the little bit with the uh, the flowers out. And it adds so much more just by having the uh, the little slider there, you know? Kind of cool, dude. Kind of cool. Ah, dude. Well, not too bad of a day. Very, very long day. Hey, it's the way that it goes sometimes. Again, as all my series, I don't really plan stuff out too much. I do it all on camera. That's the whole point of a let's play or playthrough, whatever you want to call it, is I, I do all my stuff on camera, man. The only thing I do off camera usually is farming, and that's it. But our base is kind of set. Again, leave me a comment down below how we do these skins for the walls and stuff. It, it's probably just something that I'm missing and don't really get. But everything looks fantastic, man. We got the salts to help out with our preserving bin. Definitely something we need. And then it feels a little bit more like home in here. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.